Hi kids, this is chapter 7, lesson 4. Uh, the topic today is solve and write multiplication equations. Uh, we're going to start today by uh, writing down the steps to solve equations in general. And we've talked about these, but we haven't uh, formally written them down. So that's what we're going to do first. Steps to solve <clears throat> the steps to solve equations. And remember that uh, an equation is like a scale that's balanced. You have something equal to something else. Both sides are balanced. Uh, all right, step one. You look at your equation and you find the variable. How do you find the variable? Super easy. You look for the letter. That's it. You find the letter in your equation. Step two. You look at the equation and you find the variable. After you find the variable, you identify what's happening to the variable. So identify happening to a variable, and I'll abbreviate variable with a V. Uh, so one of these things is going to be happening, okay? Something might be added to the variable, something might be being subtracted from the variable, the variable might be multiplied by a number, or the variable might be uh, being divided by a number. So find the variable identify what's happening to the variable. <clears throat> Step three is the big one. You're going to undo you're going to undo what's happening to the variable using inverse operations. So again, the inverse <coughs> The inverse of adding is subtract, the inverse of subtract is add, the inverse of multiply is divide, and the inverse of divide is multiply. Uh, you're going to undo using inverse operations to both sides of the equation. Okay, and that is really the big part of showing your work. You have to show that the equation is remaining balanced by doing the same thing to both sides. And finally, step four is to check your solution. And again, how do we check the solution? Is that once we get an answer, we plug that answer right back into the original equation and it should work. It should be true. Uh, all right, let's look at uh, solving multiplication equations. Okay, here is an example. And remember, the variable could be any letter could choose any letter. Uh, in the first one, I'm going to choose W. 2W equals 10. Now, a lot of you probably can look at that and figure it out. 2W equals 10. There is our equation. The biggest thing that kid, that's new for a lot of sixth graders is just remembering a number right next to a variable a coefficient right next to a variable means that they're being multiplied. This means 2 times w. That's what that means. So if I go back to my steps, find the variable, it's the w. What's happening to it? It's being multiplied by 2, 2w. Two How do I undo my variable being multiplied by 2? The answer is I divide by 2, but I have to do that to both sides. So 
Remember, this line is a way that you can show dividing. So I'm 2w, I'm dividing that by 2, but I have to do it to this side of the equation as well. When I do that, 2 over 2 turns into 1 whole, and 1 times w is just a w. So on this side of the equation, on this side, I'm left with a w. And on this side, 10 divided by 2 turns into 5. <clears throat> so I think that my solution is 5. How do I check that? Is I put 5 back into the original equation. So 2 times 5 does equal 10. There is my check. So today, showing your work looks like this. You have to show that you are doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. And this right here, what I've highlighted, is called the division property of equality. Before we saw the addition property of equality, the subtraction property of equality, and now today we're seeing the division property of equality. But really they're all the same thing, saying that if you have a scale, you can add the same thing to both sides, you can subtract the same thing to both sides, and you can divide the same thing to both sides. So today, here is what your work should look like. Okay, your work should look like that, and you should be doing the check. Okay, this is the check right here. You should also be checking your work. Make sure that you have the right answer. Plug it back into, the, plug in your solution into the original equation. So there is the check statement. And we're going to do one more example. Uh, let's see, 19.68 equals 3.28t. <clears throat> so I'll copy that over here, 19.68 equals 3.28. T. So if I go back to my steps uh, that we wrote down, find the variable, that's the letter, look at what's happening to the variable, it's got 3.28 right next to it. So it can, that the number right next to a variable, it can be a whole number like this, 2w, it can be 3.28, it can be a decimal, it could even be a fraction doesn't matter what that number is, whole number, fraction, decimal, a number right next to a variable means it's being multiplied. So in this equation, 3.28 times t is what this means. A number next to a variable, they're being multiplied. If your variable is being multiplied by 3.28, what is the inverse operation? It is divide by 3.28. So I am going to divide by 3.28. If I do it to that side of the equation, though, I have to do it to this side as well. That's what keeps things balanced. So again, 3.28 over 3.28 turns into 1. And then 1 times t turns into t. Calculator this. 19.68 divided by 3.28, and we are going to get 6. Uh, I think that that's my solution. How do I check it? I put 6 right back into the original equation, and 19.68 does equal 3.28 times 6. It 
works. <clears throat> so again, that's the check. This is showing your work today, showing that you are dividing the same thing. If you have a multiplication equation where your variable is being multiplied by something, you are going to do the inverse, which is divide by that same amount. And you have to do that to both sides. Uh, here is the check. You can be practicing both of these today, showing your work and also performing the check to make sure you have it right. Uh, okay, that does it for uh, solving and writing multiplication equations. Here is your hidden treasure puzzle for this lesson. It is right there, chapter seven, lesson four. Solve that puzzle. And if you have all the notes and you've got your workbook pages completed, you could be the winner. Uh, this is lesson four. Uh, we are a couple lessons away from finishing chapter seven. Chapter seven goes by pretty quick. So start going back, reviewing your notes. Uh, addition equations, subtraction equations, multiplication equations. We've got one left, division equations, and then you will have chapter seven test. So start reviewing your notes, start practicing, uh, re-watching any videos that uh, you're not, when you look at your notes you're not sure of. Also uh, practice uh, self-check quizzes using Connected. Okay, that does it for lesson four. I will see you soon for lesson five.